So what's up guys, welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. So today I'm going to show you some gospel movement and passing notes you must know as a bass player. Okay, so it's going to be 10 gospel movements you should try on every gospel song you come across. Okay, um, these movements are very very simple. They are just within that skill. They are just within that key and within the notes on the key. That's all. Okay, so get your bass. Let's get started. So guys, the key of the song is A. A major. So that's the key I play the song on. So guys, number one movement I'm going to show you today is... The 251 movement. I know the 251 is more of this kind of jazz um, progression, okay? But you can still make use of it on gospel songs, gospel movements, okay? So it always fits in this one chord progression thing. Okay, so it's like this 251. Don't forget the key we are. This is my one and this is my two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. So when you hear your two, your two is the second note of your A major scale. So this is it, one and two. Okay, so the two started from the two notes of your A major scale, which would be your two and five and one. Okay, so that is the first um, gospel movement I want to show you. So if you're going to your one chord, okay, you can do something like that. Okay, that's it. In terms of annotation, that will be Re and F, so and Do, Re, so Do. Okay, so that's the number one gospel movement. Then number two is the 5-1 leading you to your four chord. The 5-1 is leading you. This movement always leads you to your four chord. Okay, so that's it. Now you're on your four chord and you, you're playing the song. In terms of annotation, it's your so do fa. So that's number two. So number three movement is your seven and three. So we use this. This is it. We use this often, leading us to our six chord. Okay, you hear something like this. So that's your seven and three, okay, leading you to your six chord progression. The tonics of annotation there is T B na T B. Okay, so that's the number three. So guys, all these gospel movements that I'm showing you, you can make use of them on any song. That's exactly what I made use of on that song you have okay so number four gospel movement is also leading us to our sixth chord you can do something like this which is our four seven three six okay so you can make use of that also which in terms of annotation is five so that's the number four. The number five gospel movement is your five flat five leading you to your four chord. Okay, this is it. Like a chromatic descending to your four chord. Okay, that one is very, very simple. So that's number five. Five flat five or sharp four. Okay, flat five. So that's number five. Then number six is three one six leading you to your two chord. Starting from your three. Three. You slow three. Slowing to your one chord. One. One six two. My two is outside. My two is the B. This is it. This is my two. Okay, so. Okay, so don't forget you're slurring to 
Io tu. So number seven movement I want to show you is the one six five four. Okay, so this is it. This one is leading you to your three chord. Number one six five four three. Tony Sopa notation is do la so fa mi do la so fa mi. Leading you to your three chord. So number eight movement I want to show you is your seven six five flat five. Okay, seven six five flat five, leading you to your five chord. Okay, so you go this way. Always leading you to your five chord. Seven six five flat five, five. Okay, to your five chord, which is your T la so fi so. Okay, so that is number eight. So number nine movement I want to show you is. Okay, so three, four, flat five or sharp four, then going to your five chord is leading you to your five chord. If you listen closely, I use this on that song. Tony Sopa notation is mi fa fi so so. Number ten movement. I have two movements here that I want to show you. One is this can lead you to your one chord. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So that note there is one seven six two one seven one, which is your do T la. So now, movement that can lead you to your seven chord is this. Two, one, seven. Re, do, ti. Or you do this. Okay. Three, two, one, seven, which is your mi, re, do, ti. That movement can also lead you to your seven chord progression. Okay. So get this, practice them. On any song you come across, they help a lot so that you don't just be. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Okay, so that you won't just be playing the notes one by one until the song ends. So there's something I ran on that song. Like a leak. Okay, that's because of one. What helped me to achieve that movement? That's because I know my fret, but I, I know the note I'm going to that I want to hit to get that sound or to get the leak or to connect. You know, I just I just try as much as possible to just create that linking me to this, linking me to this. Since I know the chord progression. We are going next. So I did that. One. Don't forget the key we are. We are on A. And this is my A. So that lick there that I ran on that song is starting from my three notes of the A major. Let me come.
connect everything together. So you must be on timing when you're running this league, okay? Try as much as possible to get the punch, okay? Try as much as possible to get them. Get all the love. enjoy this this is everything I want to share with you today take this 10 movement passing notes try as much as possible to practice them practice them get used to them practice them to the extent that you can now freely use them on song okay very important there's the other movement you can learn there's the other gospel movement there are thousands of gospel movement out there but this is just the simple one and basic one i want to show you these are just the 10 i want to share with you today okay maybe some other time we can talk more on those other ones okay so guys once again if you're new to this channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button looking at you right there on the screen okay you can afford to miss new videos i upload every week okay so um hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload videos, okay? And if you need private lessons from me, also, every information is in the description below, okay? It's gonna be a live Zoom section. Chat me by WhatsApp, send me an email, and let's talk on how you can register, okay? So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!